folks, welcome back once again to Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video tutorial. Today we're talking about camera distortion. Now camera distortion can happen anytime you take your camera out and we're shooting at angles. So with a wide angle lens such as this one or any lens really, if we get down below the subject and we shoot up, you're going to get a distortion. You're going to start pushing that picture back. Or the same effect would be if you're shooting down. Uh, if you're shooting down on something, uh, maybe you're up on top of a building and you're shooting another building, what's going to happen is you're going to get an angle. It can also happen with portraits. Uh, you Sometimes you can shoot a portrait, maybe the camera's not uh, on the correct axis and you're shooting up or down. So these are things that we have to worry about. But do you have to throw that picture away? Is that what we're thinking? Um, you know, we're going to delete that picture altogether and not use it? No, we're not. We're going to do some editing here, and I'm going to show you how you can correct it very easily with Photoshop Elements. It's a piece of cake, and it only takes a few seconds. So let's go ahead, and we're going to go into the editor. Okay, so here's a picture I have. This is actually from, uh, well, both of these pictures, I believe, that I'm working with today. Both these pictures are from Las Vegas. So what we're going to start out with here, it's very simple to correct this stuff. And you can see how this picture is leaning back. I was standing on a street and I was looking at the, at the picture and I was trying to catch, capture the top of the building. So what I wanted to do was, um, you know, get the whole thing in the shot. So I just uh, took the shot like most of us would. So to fix this, the first thing we're going to do is duplicate this background layer by doing Command or Control J again. And we're going to duplicate that. There's layer one. And I always just shut that background off just so I don't have to worry about it. I mean, there's no big deal. You can leave it on. But I shut the visibility off. What you're going to do now, it's very simple to fix this stuff in Photoshop Elements. That's why I love Photoshop Elements uh, because it has so many easy-to-use tools. We're going to go under Filter and then Camera Correction or Correct Camera Distortion. Correct Camera Distortion. And we're going to correct this. Now, ordinarily, this will come up uh, just like it has here, uh, just the picture itself. I like to turn on what's called the grids. So if you go to the bottom right-hand side, you'll see where it says Show Grid. I'm going to just check that on. Now we can see a grid on top of our picture, and it just gives you a better idea to get it level and straight. So what we're going to do here, you can go to the top and it says Remove Distortion. And what that does, it removes the distortion if something is rounded. So we're not going to look at that today. We're going to go to the um, perspective control. So the perspective is either up or back, left or right. And it's a vertical problem we're having, an up and down problem. We're not having a horizontal problem because if the picture was, uh, was uh, snapped and it's to the left or to the right, you can also correct that. So don't throw these pictures away. You know, play in here a little bit and see if you can make something usable that you want to keep. So we're just going to go to the left here to get this picture to come up. If we want to go back, we go to the right. So starting going to the left here. And you're going to see this picture. The top of the picture is actually coming up. And we'll just bring it up some more here. And now you can see where the top of the picture has actually risen to, to, to pull it in. So we're not getting that picture leaning back anymore. You can also do the horizontal, which is left to right. And you can move this picture back and forth. We're going to go the other way here and just bring it a little bit more up front here. And what that does is just straighten the picture across. So that's your horizontal axis. That's your vertical axis. And if there's any distortion, like I said, you can remove the distortion at the top here. We can uh, play around with this a little bit. We can remove some distortion from it. That's actually distorting it more. It's actually bending it the other way. And what that does, it pulls everything up and it levels the stuff out. That's why I like to have the grids on there because it will level, level everything up for you. You can actually see what's going on. Once you get the picture to where you want it and it looks relatively straight and everything looks okay, all you got to do is click the OK button and... There's your new photograph, uh, nice and straight. Let's look at it differently here. Uh, we'll shut that one off and turn this one back on. That's what we started with, uh, with the picture leaning back. And this is the picture now straight. So that's back, and that's now straightened, okay, or, or leveled or corrected for the camera, for the, uh, for the distortion. All right, let's go ahead and we'll look at one more here. This is the famous Flamingo, the famous Donia Marie show at the Flamingo. Again, a Commander Control J, duplicate that background layer. 
Again, remember, just go up to Filter, Correct Camera Distortion, because this happens to all of us, the best of us. And you'll notice once I turn that grid on, it stays on. So once you turn on your program, it will stay on. If you don't like the grid, just uncheck it again and shut the grid back off. I do kind of like the grid. And again, I got that same effect. It's leaning back. So we know now the vertical, we're going to pull it to the left. We're going to start bringing that up into the foreground here. I'm going to really bring it up here to show you that you can actually straighten it up pretty well. And then you can take this horizontal again. You can change that a little bit. Yeah, we'll go the other way. And you can actually bring that building more into perspective. And then again, your distortion, you, in case you have any distortion on here whatsoever, look how we can distort that out and back. And there you go. Just simply click OK. And then again, if we take a look, that's what we had. That's what we have now. So you see where it's leaning back? Now it's back into the front there. So it's very easy to correct uh, your camera problems, you know, with Photoshop Elements. They have great tools in here. You just have to know how to kind of capture that tool and work with it. And that's what these videos are for. So I hope you're enjoying these. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching this episode of uh, Jack's Tech Corner and another Photoshop Elements video. And if you have any questions, please email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. I'd love to hear those questions. Maybe you have a photograph you want me to work with, um, and maybe I'll be able to do a tutorial with that. And if you want to learn all these tools that you have at your, at your disposal, check out jtclearning.com. That's JTC learning.com and the, the courses are very inexpensive they're forty dollars there's 50 videos in there right now there's photoshop elements 12 and photoshop elements 13 and photoshop elements 14 will be arriving on the scene here um, soon enough i hope <laughs> i've been working on those and it does take some time to put all those videos together for you so but check those out and if you have photoshop elements 14 you want to get started you can't wait Jump in there and, and take the Photoshop 13 course because or Photoshop Elements 13, you're going to be just fine with that. Folks, thank you so much again for watching, and I hope you subscribe to the videos and keep coming back often and, uh, and um, keep enjoying the videos. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.